Hello everyone, welcome back to Gaming Flu and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Baldur's Gate 3 not saving error or game is currently stopped error which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this error. So let's dive into this. The first one is all about you have to turn off throws save in the game setting and you have to restart the game. That is what you have to do. For this just go over here. Now you have to click on the play. And once the game is successfully launched, I'll be showing you what you have to do. So once you launch the game, you have to go over here in the options. And over here in the gameplay, if you go over here under the save option, you will be having an option called cross, cross save. So if you have the option over here in the cross save, you have to do is you just need to turn it off. Once after turning the cross save option, for me I'm not having the option but for you you will be having the option. Once after that you have to go back. Now you just need to uh, go back to the from the game you have to go back. Now once after that you can try launch the game. So after turning off the cross save you can uh, restart the game and most probably the issue will be completely fixed and this is what you have to do. Next one is all about you need to turn off steam cloud and you have to restart the game. So just go over here, right click over here and go to the properties. Now as you can see under the steam cloud, we have turned it on this. So you have to turn this off. You have to turn this off. Once after that, you know, you need to uh, close the game once again. So I'm actually running the game because I have to show a few more steps. So once the game is successfully launched, you have to uh, you turn off the cloud. You have to turn it on once again and that's gonna help you guys out as well. Next one is all about you have to delete the saved game file. So uh, in order to delete the saved game file, so in order to delete the saved game file, just go over here in the search. Now from here, we have to go to the documents and over here, you'll be able to find the folder on the game Baldur's Gate 3. So just delete the respective folder. Keep in mind, you will be losing all the progressions, but that is fine. So once you delete this, just close this. And afterwards, you have to go back and try launching the game. Also parallelly you have to do verify integrity of game file which is an important step. So just go over here in the Baldur's Gate, right click over here and go to the properties. Now go to install it files and you have to go for verify integrity of game file. So this is going to take a bit of time because the game is around 122.41 GB so it's gonna take a lot of time. So it will cross check every single file of a game. So if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this and you have to try launch the game. Next one, apart from this is all about, we have to launch the game in the Vulkan mode. So most people end up in lo not launching this. So I'll be showing you, just click on the play button over here. So once you get this particular one, so once after that you get this, you have to go over here and you have to skip everything. And once after that, if you go back, you are getting the two options like this. Right now I'm having the play. So there is an option with direct X and there is an option with Vulkan. So most probably you will be in the direct text. So you have to change this to Vulkan. Once after you change this to Vulkan, try launch the game and this is what you have to do. So these are the possible workaround which can be done when it comes to how to fix this and we hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.